Hi, Brooke Katz again for Supreme Master TV. Welcome healthy viewers to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Aside from authoring a number of vegan cookbooks, Mr. Katz has lectured and presented cooking demonstrations worldwide. He has been invited to speak on various radio and television programs on the benefits of plant-based nutrition. He has even prepared a vegan luau for the King of Tonga, in addition to cooking for celebrities and politicians. Chef Brooke Katz loves what he speaks and strives to be proof that you can turn your life around for the better simply by changing your diet. At the age of 30, with the guidance of vegan Dr. Michael Clapper, Mr. Katz embarked on lifestyle transition that included a delicious vegan diet, exercise, sunshine, and herbs, which helped him shed 100 pounds and cured his health ailments. Since then, he has assisted thousands of other people in gaining better health. On Monday, Chef Brooke Katz showed us how to prepare and steam butternut squash, and we began making a delectable stuffing with ground seitan, green bell peppers, celery, onion, garlic, fragrant basmati rice, and walnuts that filled the squash. Today, we're back to complete his wonderful stuffed butternut squash recipe that's perfect to serve our loved ones on any occasion of the year. Now, what we're going to add here to make this hold together is a little bit of tahini. Now, tahini is a sesame seed butter. Now, you may have noticed that I've opened this can from the bottom. The reason being is when you open up any kind of a nut butter that's been stored, all the oils after a while will tend to come to the surface and separate from the butter. So what we've done here is we've opened it from the bottom so that I can reach all that hard solid stuff uh, and it'll be right on the top. And this way, all I have to do is kind of push it down into the oils and then we can start to make it smooth. And again, once, once you do this for a few minutes, It'll, it'll be a consistency of almost a, a smooth paste. And, um, and it has a beautiful, beautiful fresh flavor. So I'm going to take the tahini now, and I'm going to mix in a few uh, tablespoons here of the tahini. And this will act as a binder. Now, tahini is known as nature's emulsifier. What I mean by that, an emulsifier is something that allows us to combine both oil and water together. And that makes it uh, hold together. Otherwise, when you try to mix oil and water, they just stay separate. And so we're going to mix it here and give it a nice binding and a nice flavor. Tahini is an excellent source of calcium, very, very high in calcium. All green plants are loaded with calcium. People ask me all the time, where do you get your calcium? If you don't drink milk, where do you get your calcium? I get my calcium the same place that all the other large, huge animals on the face of the planet do. The giraffe, the hippopotamus, the rhinoceros, the elephant, the, uh, the, the cows and bulls themselves, the great apes. None of these animals consume milk for calcium. But they all get calcium in plentiful forms from green plants. So please, don't worry about being calcium deficient. Just worry about eating properly. All right, now we're going to give this a little bit of flavor here. I'm going to mix a couple of teaspoons of tamari in here. Mix that around. This will give us, like I said, the saltiness without the high sodium content. And uh, it just makes it taste better. Okay. So we've got this all mixed together. And basically, all we're going to do here is we're going to add a little bit of rice when it's done, and then we'll have our stuffing. 
Okay, so now we're going to check on our rice here. And as usual, perfect rice every time. We just flip it over here, fluff it up a little bit. Beautiful. And I'm going to add about a cup of this right into the stuffing. And we'll just mix this right in, mix it around. Mm. The smell, the aromatics of the basmati rice is just outrageous. Um, to me, it's my favorite rice, even more so than jasmine. But uh, this basically now is, is finished. We're ready to stuff our, our squash. And um, if we check over here, our squash has been steaming. Let's take a look and see how it is. Now I'm going to take one of these cloths because these will be very hot. So we will pull one out and just to see, uh, it's soft enough, it's beautiful. We'll take our spoon and uh, let me get a small bowl. This way we can collect the squash and, uh, and we can use this for something else down the line, we can make a, a little uh, stuff, uh, a whipped squash rather. I'll take a little bit of the, of the squash and I'll add a little bit of cinnamon to it, a little bit of, uh, of the rice syrup or a little bit of maple syrup, and boy, that will just be a delicious side dish to add to these butternut squash. Now, I'm going to get a little pan here. And as I take the squash out, careful not to mess up the skins like I just did, <laughs> we'll put that aside there. And we'll just keep doing this to the other squashes. And get them all ready. We'll turn the fire off. No need to waste any more electricity. So as you can see, again, they're nicely scooped out. We'll put that one next to that and work on the next one. They're already getting a little soft. So we have to be careful with the, the shells here. One more to go. Let's make this one perfect. And again, avoid burning your hands. <laughs> they can be very hot when you first take them out. Steaming actually brings things to a higher temperature than if you were to boil them. So it's much more dangerous to uh, burn yourself with steam. OK, so now we've got the shells. All we have to do is come and put the stuffing in. We're going to take each one of these shells and we'll just spoon the stuffing in. Get it all nice in there. And again, all these flavors, they will marry and cook even more so when we put it in the oven. And we got plenty here to go. Get the green peppers in there. Absolutely delicious. Okay, and we're going to mound this up nicely. And we'll get it so that it's all inside, make it look good, because we want things to look as good as they taste. So now we've got our stuffed squash. We're going to put it into the oven now. And we're going to give that about 20 minutes to bake, okay? 
So at the end of 20 minutes, we'll come back. You'll love it. Okay, so we had put our, uh, our uh, butternut squash in the oven. And we've been cooking it at a 350 temperature for about 20, 25 minutes just to let it brown and to let everything kind of uh, caramelize and, and, and mix together well. So now we're going to reach into the oven and we're going to pull this out. Mmm. Uh, just the smell when I reach into the oven. Open that door. Mm. Okay. And as you can see, everything is nicely browned here. I can feel a nice little uh, crunchiness to the top of it. The, the nuts and the rice have all cooked together. I can see the green peppers have, uh, have wilted a little bit more and have cooked in. And uh, so we are at the perfect point right here to put these out on our serving platters and serve them up to our guests for a delicious meal of butternut squash. So as you can see, we have a delicious dinner here with all the wonderful tastes of the, the butternut squash and, the, and the, the nuts and the seitan and the rice all cooked together beautifully. Um, enjoy this uh, and uh, again, bon appetit. Thank you, Cherished viewers, for joining us today on Supreme Master Television for Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May your hearts be kindled with the warmth of heaven's infinite blessings. For more information on Chef Brooke Katz, vegan recipes, and to purchase his vegan cookbooks, new favorites, the gentle persuasion, and the really real foods, please visit www.brookkatz.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.